30th of July. This year is being celebrated as World Day Against Trafficking in Persons. Our next address will be delivered by the son of a speaker man. Son of our Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Pernell Charles Sr. Being the son of a speaker, he is not short on words. Please help me welcome Senator, the Honorable Pernell Charles Jr., Minister of State in the Ministry of National Security, who will, on this occasion, offer brief remarks on behalf of that ministry. Trafficking in persons is a global crisis. It is, as was said, a multi-billion dollar industry that does not recognize geographic or political borders. It does not recognize moral law or civil law. It is only concerned about achieving the selfish goals of cold-hearted men and women who will stop at nothing to achieve their goals. It represents a very serious threat to law and order all over the world, including here in our beloved Jamaica. According to the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, I quote, as with other forms of organized crime, trafficking has globalized. Groups formerly active in specific routes or regions have expanded the geographical scope of their activities to explore new markets. Some have merged and formed cooperative relationships, expanding their geographical reach and range of criminal activities. Trafficking victims have become another commodity in a larger realm of criminal commerce involving other commodities, such as narcotic drugs and firearms or weapons and mo money laundering. All of these that will generate illicit revenues or seek to reduce risk for traffickers. As a country, Jamaica has been engaged in a relentless battle to disrupt this criminal activity. Ms. Palmer, I don't know if you recall, sure, my former boss would also recall that she provided for me the opportunity when I was serving as a prosecutor in the office of the Director of Public Prosecutions to be the deputy for the unit that was responsible for treating with human trafficking. So, I have an intimate knowledge of this area. The government, through the security services and other agencies of the state, has sought to identify and prosecute those, those involved, to rescue and protect victims, and to sensitize the public to the threat it presents to our citizens and to our country. The Ministry of National Security endorses the observance of World Day against trafficking in persons and supports the efforts of the Ministry of Justice and the Honorable Delroy Chop and his team, the United Nations Development Program and all stakeholders to increase awareness of this crisis and to mobilize us as a country to fight for its eradication. I encourage all of us as citizens of Jamaica to become more aware of the issues related to, to the trafficking in persons and to play our part in ridding the country and the world of this evil practice. 